Hi and welcome to another T-Board video. In this video we'll have a look at how to use and customize the HTML CSS JavaScript notification widget that comes with T-Board. As you may or may not know, the widgets that come with T-Board are all flash based and can be customized from within T-Board. But for the notification widgets there's like a special version that is uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript based. Although the default Flash widget that comes with T-Board is customizable from within T-Board, it does not support the use of images. And the main reason for that is that I wanted to provide something that everyone could use, even those without, for instance, graphic skills or without uh, means to make custom images. So the default notification widget just works out of the box without the need of any additional skills. However, for those that do have the skills and do want to use custom images, I have provided a, let's call it an advanced notification widget that is uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript based. And we'll have a look at how to use that and how to customize it. As with all T-board widgets, the easiest way to find them is to click on the folder icon at the top right. So let me close this. So now I'm in the uh, notifications folder, so widgets notifications. There are three folders there, are OBS, OBSJS, and XSplit. And the folder that we need or that we'll be working with is the OBS-JS. Now because we'll be modifying files within that folder, it is actually best to make a copy of it, because when T-Board is updated, the widgets folder is often recreated and files that you would have changed would uh, be overwritten so your changes would be lost. So to prevent that, make a copy of this folder. So copy, now I'm gonna go up to the T-board folder, create a new folder here and call it my widgets. Like that. And now create a folder called notifications, notifications. And I'm gonna paste the OBS dot or OBS dash JS folder in there. Note that it is important to have your custom widgets folder within the T-board folder because that folder has been added to the Flash Player Trusted Locations, which is required for the widgets to actually work. Now that we have made a copy, let's see if things actually still work. So open up the T-Board notifications HTML file in your browser. So I'm opening it in Chrome, then go into T-Board notification widgets, followers, make sure that the display on stream option is on and click the test button. And there we go. Now that we know that the widget still works, we can start customizing it. In this case, I want to replace the image with a custom one. And let me show you the image. Okay, it's this one. Preview. There we go. So this is the image that I'll be using for the notification. So let's close this. Go back up. And this is the HTML file. We'll open that in Notepad. And have a look at what's there at the top you can see there is three script tags and these load uh, the animation engine then we have some css that defines how everything will look initially on screen and how everything is positioned initially and then underneath that we have some custom script and this is what makes stuff move on the screen so there's like a function called T-board notification. This function is called from the flash widget that is also included in the page. So basically when a notification occurs in T-board, T-board sends a message to this widget which calls this function. So when this function is executed, this is where the animation takes place. If I go back to the browser and refresh it, as you can see, there's nothing there. That is because in the CSS, the notification is initially hidden. 
I'm going to comment it out. Save the file. And if I now refresh, I can now see the uh, image, which will make it a lot easier to work with. Now let's go ahead and replace that image with our custom one, which is simply called all. So notification dash background dash all, and then scroll down and look for the image tag and replace it here as well. So call it all. And then the width of my new image is the full width of my monitor screen, which is 9020. And the height of the image is 100 pixels. So make sure that you use the values here of your custom image. Save the file. Go back to the browser. Hit the refresh. And there I have my custom image. You cannot see the full image, but yeah, it's like the full width of my monitor screen. So as you can see now, the text is a bit out of place. So we'll need to adjust that as well. And the text is positioned via CSS. So look for notification message. It says top 20. We'll increase that a bit by, let's make it 35. Save the file. Refresh, there we go. Now let's maximize this open keyboard again and see what happens if we hit test. Not sure if you could notice it, but the animation didn't start all the way off screen. And as you can see, when the animation ends, or when the notification disappears, it doesn't disappear completely. So we'll need to adjust that. So minimize this, go back to our code here, look for the script. And one of the lines here says tween light from two. And it says minus 920. That was the width of the old image. My new image is 1920 pixels wide, so I'll just change that. And the same here with the X position. So to make it fully disappear again. Now if I save this, refresh, go full screen. Now let's test this again. And there we go. Now the image completely disappears. Uh, the thing is though, I want to do a slightly different animation. Rather than have it slide in from the left, I want to make it slide in from the top. So let's go back to the code here. And what we need to change is the X position. So instead of changing the X value, I'm going to change the Y value. And initially, I want it to be at minus 100, because that is the height of my image. And I want it to uh, appear on screen from the top. But instead of going to zero, which would be the top left corner, I want it to slide it down just a little further. Again, changing the X into Y. And the disappearing of it needs to be adjusted as well. So the Y position is going to be minus 100. So again, save the file. Let's refresh this. I'm not going to maximize it. Just wanted to show you if it actually works. There we go. So if I hit test a few times, you can see it slide in from the top now. Just wait for it to disappear. And there we go. Now I want to do one more thing in the between light from two, I'm gonna add something called ease. What this does is it tells the animation uh, which easing equation to use. And there is a nice one that is called bounce.ease out, like that. You can find more information about that on the GreenSock website, the link for that is added at the very top over here. 
So if you want to learn more about what you can do with the animation engine, make sure to visit that website. So again, all I did was here was add releasing a parameter, called it bounce.ease out. Now let's, I saved the file. Let's see what that looks like now. So I'm going to refresh this, then hit test. Boom. Okay, let me move this away. Maximize this. Okay, now it disappeared. Gonna hit test again. For those of you that want to see the code one more time, here it is. So what I changed here was the position of the text. I commented the visibility, which I'm now gonna remove again because I want to test this in OBS next. Then I changed the the path to my new image here. I also changed it here, including the width and the height of my new image. Then I changed the tween light from two. Instead of the X positioning, I'm modifying the Y positioning. I added a parameter called ease, which tells the animation to do a bounce rather than a regular uh, tween. And I also changed the tween light two to make it disappear again. I changed it to minus 100, which is the height of my image. Okay, so let's now go ahead and see what that looked like in OBS. Okay, here in OBS, I'm gonna add a new global source at CLR browser, call it custom notification. Click on okay. Now browse to my, oh, I'm already there. So make sure you select the my widgets folder, notifications, OBSJS. Grab the HTML file, set the width and height. The height needs to have enough room for the full animation to show because the animation slides in up to 100 pixels into or 100 pixels from the top. And the uh, image itself is also 100 pixels high. So you can either do here like 300 or you could just select the full height of your uh, screen, which in my case is 1080. Both, both will work, so click OK, click OK. Now I'm going to add a global source to my scene. Where is it? Custom animation, uh, custom notification. Click OK, there it is. Now let's preview that. Of course I can't see anything, but if I click Edit Scene, you can see the red border all across the uh, preview. Okay, let's remove that. Let's bring in T-Board and click on the test button and there we have it so that's it for this video thanks for watching and until next time